Did it start? Oh. Hi, and welcome to my life as a crazy bug lady. I have my beautiful little orchid mantis here. Her name is Sakura, and she's here joining us today because today we're gonna do a video that I've been wanting to do but have been putting off because I know it's gonna be a lot of work because I need tons of mantises to cooperate and participate with me. But I decided today's the day. We're gonna make it happen. Today I'm gonna show you all of the different species of mantis that I have in my collection. So I'm not gonna show you every single mantis that I have because some species I do have multiples, um, but I'm gonna show at least one from each species. And if I have some in different size or points in their life, like some baby, some adult, I may show you a couple but I just kind of want to show you the different species that I have right now. So without any further ado, let's jump in and meet the mantises. <laughs> okay, so number one obviously is going to be the orchid mantis. So this is an adult female orchid mantis. Her name is Sakura. I've actually had her for about a year now. I've actually had her and she's still doing really great. I actually paired her with a couple males and she ate both of them. I don't think that there was any success in the pairing, so I'm not expecting any babies, but I still love her very, very much and I'm still gonna enjoy her company. Um, she's currently living on a plant in my room and she's enjoying it very much. So let's do a close up. We, this is our makeshift background we're using so the camera can hopefully focus. So there she is. She's pretty cute. Her wings are a little bit damaged from her molt and from pairing with the males that I had, but she's still super beautiful. We love her. Okay, I also want to show a very smaller and cute little tiny baby orchid mantis. I am keeping um, a good amount of orchid mantis right now as I prepare to hopefully breed them. So here's what it's looking at me. Here's one of the um, smaller babies I have in my collection. It's just looking at me. <sighs> here's one of the smaller babies I have in my collection. Um, these are the orchid mantis or the Hymenopus cornatus, and they are very well loved mantises in the mantis hobby. She's a little bit scared, so kind of crouching down, but you can kind of get an idea of what a smaller orchid mantis looks like. And very pink looking. Very cute. Keep focusing. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna show another one of the mantises that lives out in my room. This, I believe they're called the twig mantis is the common name. Scientific name is the Popa spruca, and they are stick mimics. Um, you might see that this guy's actually blending in pretty well to this plant. Let's see if you can get a good look. These guys are really shy and timid. They are very non-aggressive and they're chill and they have kind of a silly derpy looking face. So I quite like them. This one has been just living on a plant in my room, which is nice because he doesn't really travel around too much. So here is the Popa Spruca. Let's do a little turnaround. You can see the little face on this guy. I've had it since it was a little teeny tiny tiny baby. Oh, look at his face, it looks so cute. I can't stop shaking the plant. And here's a smaller baby Popa Spruca. And it's actually, it has a molt right here, just molted. You can see how much littler this one is. Very cute little guys. Very chill, non-aggressive, very shy. Cute. Okay, so funny that I actually only have small little specimens of this species, because these actually get really big. Um, which is part of the reason why I'm so excited to have them. But these are the cat eye mantises. Scientific name being Heterotrata orientalis, I believe. And they actually have eyes which are shaped very, um, come to a point like a cat eye. 
And um, yeah, these are also stick mimics. So they kind of try to look like sticks. They have a little bit more green on them than the Popa So they have a really different look, a way different face. This one's just looking at me. They look like little aliens. I'm bummed that I only have small babies to show you, but it's better than nothing. So here we go, the cat eye mantis. I've heard that you can keep them communally because they're very non-aggressive, but I uh, have not tried because I don't want them to eat each other. I feel like they have a lot of personality. Can you see? Boom. They do look like aliens, huh? Okay, so next up we have another really popular mantis species in the hobby of keeping mantis. And I picked this one next because it kind of follows the theme of mimicking dead things like sticks, but instead these guys are mimicking dead leaves. These are actually ghost mantises. This guy's thirsty, looking for water on my hand. Um, but this is a boy on top and a girl down below. They're actually due for a feeding now. Oh, don't go to, no, no, no. Um, so I have a boy and a girl here. Um, these guys are getting a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, these are really calm. They're really gentle. If anything, they play dead when they're scared. This one's scared, so it's kind of crouching down. But they come in a lot of different colors, like browns, tans, and greens even. And they're really great pets. So yeah, here's that girl. They like to sway like a leaf in the wind. As you can see, she's doing a little dance. And a boy, he's a nice dark color. He's really pretty. I mean, to feed him, he looks hungry. But yeah, these guys are really cool. Ghost mantises, or um, Philocrania paradoxa, scientific name. Very easy to handle, very cute. Yeah, I'm gonna feed them after this. Okay, so next up I have another kind of naturalistic looking mantis. Um, this one has a really cool like alien looking vibe to it. Um, I've had this one for quite a while actually. We are nearing adulthood on this one. And this is a violin mantis. Scientific name is Gongulus gongulodes. I hear them called violin mantis and wandering violin mantis. They are another very um, gentle, more timid and shy mantis very beautiful. I am pretty sure this is a girl. Yeah, I have a girl here. So pretty. So cool looking. Very alienish. She's nearing adulthood. Yeah, she is so pretty. I actually got her as my birthday present to myself. Got her in the mail on my birthday. She's very cute. She's so tall. Ah! Ah! Attack! So the next one kind of actually has a similar look to the violin mantis, and this is the cryptic mantis. They both have the really long, kind of daddy long leg, -like, spiderish legs, the smaller abdomen. Um, this one is the cryptic mantis looking at me. Hi. Um, scientific name, I'm totally not sure how to pronounce it. I'm sure I'm going to butcher this, but I think it's either Sibylla or Sibyla um, Pretiosa, and it is very pretty, so it's a very suiting name, but they have a really cool color, like kind of greenish and, and cream colored. It's another kind of um, skinny looking mantis, but they are really cute. I got this one on a whim because the girl I get a lot of my mantises from just said, hey, I have one, do you want it? And I was like, sure. So yeah, they're very cool. And when they are adults, they're very, very green. Their wings are like a beautiful mint seafoam green. I kind of like the background here. So I'm excited to see this one grow up. But yeah, they're very cute. Very pretty, similar to a violin, but just kind of different coloration. So yes, this is the Cryptic Mantis, S. Pretiosa. Cute. 
Would you like to go for a climb? So next is a mantis that, ah, they're fighting with each other. <laughs> next is a mantis that I'm really excited to share because I actually bred these guys. Um, they were from one of my very first mantis that I got. These are giant Asian mantises, scientific name Hyradula membranacea, I think. Um, but yeah, they are a pretty common species of mantis, but they are just so pretty and so cool. And you can see here, I have two very different colorations. So this one at the front looks more like its mother, very green in coloration. This one's kind of a pinkish brown. And they're from the same egg pod. They are siblings, but they look quite different. This one is one molt ahead. It actually just molted. But yeah, these are my creation. So, oh, don't jump. So I am very proud to have them and to show them to you today because I bred their parents together and I created these little guys and I raised them up and they're doing really well. So yeah, these are the, the giant Asian mantises. And yeah, so here's this one. They're very calm. They get very large. And they're really easy to keep. Okay, so this is another really tiny specimen that I have, but I don't have anything bigger right now. Um, this is a panther mantis. Um, scientific name is Parachodula pantherina, I believe. And these guys are known for being really good hunters. They are very speedy and they have really disproportionately big heads to their bodies with really huge eyes. So it's so hard to see, but this is a baby panther mantis. They are very low to the ground. They kind of cling to whatever they're perching on, but they're really small little guys, but they have really big eyes, really big faces. So they are quite adorable. But yeah, this is a little panther mantis. I hope you can get a good view of him. I know he's really tiny. Oh, there he goes. Run like the wind, little friend. Okay. Here's the panther mantis on a leaf. I don't know if that helps you see it. Probably not, because he's so small, but. All right, well, I think that is it. I probably forgot somebody. I probably did. I kind of grabbed everyone and ran out to film this video. If that's everyone. If I forgot anyone, I'm very sorry, my mantises. I love them all very much, but I really hope that you enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite mantis was. Let me know if you have a favorite mantis. I do have a couple species that I have kept that I no longer have um, specimens of in my collection, like the giant shield mantis budwing mantis, I no longer have that, or my spiny man spiny flower mantis. Um, but this is just what I have right now in my collection. Um, so here's Sakura, here to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and this is just bringing us one step closer to me finally doing a full collection video of all my bugs, which I have been asked for. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next time on my life as a crazy bug lady. She's an orchid mantis. She's an orchid mantis. Orchid, orchid mantis. She's an orchid mantis. She's an orchid mantis.